This is a quick demonstration video of my um, alpha version of a Lego train controlled via Wi-Fi with an RFID reader. It's currently on a breadboard with the RFID reader. Here is an alpha version of the version without um, RFID reader. Um, I have it on a print board and the, the controlling unit that contains the Wi-Fi connection is the spark core over there that fits on here. So the final version of this is, looks like this with a spark core on top and it will have one, one input lead and we will have two output leads so we can connect two motors and um, drive trains with the double power uh, that two motors provide. Um, the basically the way this works is that um, you know, I, I have a talent session here where I um, can talk to the train. I can give it a command. Right now I'm going to give it, tell it to go and start driving at speed 100 out of 255 levels. And there the train goes. And then I have these uh, tags here, like these, these are just normal RFID tags, uh, that I've programmed, um, with, I have programmed the logic on the microcontroller in the train to uh, take a specific action when it hits a uh, the tag when it hits this tag it's gonna wait 10 seconds now in the final version um, what the spark core will do is just provide services to access the RFID tags and uh, the logic will uh, will be accessed via REST service in, in whatever client application you want to build um, for example a train controller I put the wait 10 second tag down and you can see the train re reads it and it stops as you can see here on the screen it stops it's counting down and now we're getting close, the train will start speeding up again. Similarly, there is a tag here that says reverse on it. You see the reverse tag. We can put this tag down. The train will hit this. And it will reverse. It will ignore one pass and now it will reverse. And here it goes over it and it reverses. Similarly, I have, to, I have other tags. I have tags that are here. There are all these actions are supported right now. So we have reverse. We have going faster, going slower, coming to a complete stop. It's all in there. So let me take the full speed tag and we'll see how that works. It's the full speed tag. Now the train has sped up to full speed. As you can see here, it is not running at full speed. I'm going to put it back at normal speed because it's almost running off the table. And here the train is back at normal speed. And then finally, here is stop. And the train comes to a full stop. As you can see here on the screen, those are all the commands that were executed and how it reads the tags. So, that's my uh, version so far. Let me know if this uh, is interesting. Thank you. Bye.